Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I want to show you an easy way to change your background color um, for beauty images. It is very simple and it just saves you a lot of money. You don't have to spend so much money on backdrops. You can just do it in post and it looks great. Like I have changed the color of this particular backdrop right now. And it looks great. And the reason why I do this is I tend to love to match my backgrounds to the color of my subject's skin and it just makes the overall image look really really good so let's get straight into it um how do you do this now let me show you the before and after of this so this is the before and this is the after now with the before the image probably stands out a lot because the background is very different from her skin color and that's great you know you can go with you can go with this but on my page um recently i've been doing something where i kind of love the whole earth color theme and i love the fact that their skin color kind of matches a little bit with the background and i feel like it just makes the overall image a lot more pleasing i mean it just works for me so great let me show you how you can do this quickly so all you have to do is create a hue saturation adjustment layer and once you've done that come to select color range and pick the color of your background so right now it's already selected because i've done it but all you have to do is just use a color picker tool to pick the color of your background now i have seen that this works better with gray backgrounds but you can also use white but the one thing you have to put at the back of your mind is make sure that your subject is separated very well from your background so that you do not have to spend so much time masking and all that stuff so right now i just have a gray background and i can turn it into any color i want in post like this this is very simple and really easy but if it's a white background that's spilling up to your subject then you have to do a lot more masking which i would definitely not recommend so if you have a great background just use that like this right now that i use for this shoot was just a board behind the subject so now i'm just going to click ok you guys can see that it got some part of her hair so i'm just going to press the slash key on my keyboard and you can see everywhere that's masked right so right now i'm going to pick my brush tool make sure my foreground color is black and i'm just going to take it out of all these places i don't want it to affect any of these right here and i can also take it out of her hair if i want to but it really does not matter honestly for the hair doesn't really matter okay great um so now what i am going to do is just click on colorize and see it has changed the color of the background so all i have to do right now is just pick the color that will work for me this looks really good this looks good but i typically just pick somewhere around here and this works this looks good so before after i feel like it matches her skin a lot more and i would go for a look like this so that's it that's it like i said really simple this is how you can change your background color for your beauty images simple easy quick tutorial that anybody can do at any time at home now before we go please make sure you check out my digital store i have 14 amazing actions in my retouching essentials pack that i think everybody should have that's what i used to retouch my images i just finished retouching this image right now let me show you guys the before and the after the before and the after so you can use my retouching essentials pack plus all the tutorials i have to learn how to retouch and get final results that look just like this also check out my skin tone lots i use it all the time for my images and just to show you guys quickly for this particular image all i have to do is go to color lookup load 3d lot pick the lot that i want um in this case maybe let's see what six looks like oh six looks good before after um let's check out what four looks like hmm maybe i'll go four instead of six i'll go four instead of six and just reduce my opacity a little bit and this just gives me a pretty pretty nice look it's just a way to finish your images i call them finishing lots you should definitely definitely check those out too i have both light skin tones and dark skin tones 
And yeah, that's about it. Um, check out my digital store. I have some freebies there too. My frequent separation actions are free for both the basic and the advanced. And you can also get my blue tone lots and a couple other things that I have there that you can just go get for free. And also I have some raw images that you can download and use to practice. But anyways, like I said, today is just a quick and easy tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, if you haven't seen the video on how to retouch a dewy look like this or how I retouch the dewy look like this, I'll put it in the description below. Definitely check out that video. I just put it out yesterday. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out, guys.